Hey guys, Lindsay Phipps from Lindsay Phipps Fitness here and I wanted to talk to you today about the Ultimate Reset. This is the three week um, sort of, it's sort of like a detox cleanse inner body tune up that my husband and I are doing. We just started it today and I just wanted to quickly go over the program, the supplements and then we also went grocery shopping for our first week of grubs so I was going to show that to you guys as well. So um, you'll get a box with for one person, so this is enough for one person. Um, you get your book that explains the program, the supplements. Um, they're all timed out when you need to take them, when you need to eat, um, and it has a bunch of recipes and your grocery lists and all of the details in here. And the ultimate reset focuses on really eating clean. In the first week, you cut out um, meat and dairy, and then by the second week, you're following a strictly vegan meal plan, and then by the third week, you're not really you're re eating really limited grains and mainly eating fruits and veggies. So, and it also focuses on drinking a lot of water, getting a lot of sleep. You're not supposed to work out on it. You're just supposed to do like yoga or meditation or walking. Um, but because of my goals, I'm still going to work out, but just not as intense. Um, it's really important that you follow it the way that it's laid out. Um, you, the reason that they don't want you to work out is because your body's going to be going through a lot of things as you're taking the supplements and, and following the program over the three weeks. And it's going to sometimes be a little bit tiring and um, physically you're just you're doing a lot inside internally so um, you don't want to stress it any more than you have to. So. And speaking of stress, when you start the program, you don't want to start it if you've got a lot of stress going on in your life because likely it's going to be hard to stick to a meal plan, especially if it's kind of strict. Um, you don't want to be, have any trips scheduled or anything like that because you're, you're supposed to eat at specific times, take supplements at specific times, and that would be kind of difficult to do if you've got a lot of travel um, or you have a trip or something like that planned. Um, Anyway, so you get supplements for 21 days. You, do, you don't take all of them every day. You, you follow it according to the schedule. Um, like I said, the first week is kind of easing into it, and then in the second week you get more intense. So um, you're going to have your detox, which you don't start until the second week, I believe. Your mineralize, um, which is making up for like the salt that you won't be getting. Um, and plus salt is really processed now. So you'll do that with your water and also him, um, Himalayan peace, uh, pink sea salt. You've got revitalize, optimize, and soothe. So they all have a specific goal in mind when you're taking these supplements on certain days and at certain times. So um, I just wanted to show that to you guys. I will be sharing on Facebook and on Instagram how I'm doing through the next three weeks. I'll be posting about it every day. I'll be sharing some pictures of the food that I'm eating. I'm really excited about the recipes. We primarily eat um, whole food, um, plant-based diet anyway. So we, the only thing that we eat that's animal product is um, eggs, eggs whites, that's about it. So I'm not foreseeing that that should be too difficult for us going to a vegan diet because we've pretty much been following a vegetarian diet for the last several weeks. Um, but I'm really excited to try these new recipes. I've never had any of these recipes before, so I'm excited to try them out. And if they're really good, I'll be incorporating them into our meal plan going forward. Um, I decided to do this because my biggest struggle has been food, and I've been a yo-yo dieter for a really long time. And I just got that all back on track last year with my health and fitness program, starting with the 21 Day Fix program. And then I've done... Um, Hammer and Chisel and Body Beast, but internally I'm ready to do that tune-up and get all of the organs and everything functioning the way that they're supposed to because I'm sh I've seen several doctors about my hormones and my metabolism because I've had some struggles with that and everything tests out the way it's supposed to. So that's the other reason I want to do this is to sort of just reset everything and get everything the way it's supposed to be functioning. So I'm excited to see how my body handles that and how what things improve. Um, for Jeremy, he has had really bad indigestion since he was a teenager. He's also got some arthritis that is inflamed with, um, like there's certain foods that cause inflammation, so it's kind of like a, a diet where you're taking out a lot of those things that can cause inflammation, things that are high in acid, like red meats and coffee and things like that. 
So the point is to get your body more alkaline, which is a really healthy state to be in. So I'm excited to see how he handles it as well. Um, and I'll just be sharing this whole journey with you guys. So if you're interested in doing a program like this, I don't recommend it if you have binge eating disorder and you're just getting that under control because it's pretty strict. And so you, when you get to the point where you feel like your binges are under control, which is where I'm at now, I think it's a great tool to sort of even curb those cravings even more and get yourself back on track and to losing weight and feeling healthy and just really taking care of yourself internally. I wouldn't recommend it for somebody who has other eating disorders like anorexia or bulimia. Um, I, I think it could probably trigger some issues there. But if you're somebody who does need to just sort of reset, you've had some really unhealthy eating habits in the past, eating a lot of junk food, processed food, and you just haven't really been taking care of yourself, this would be good for that. So now I'm going to show you guys our food haul and then I'm going to eat lunch. There's Jeremy, not doing so well on day one. <laughs> We have more crap over there that we picked up at the post office. Um, really, we just went to bed late last night and we're tired. And according to our schedule, we should have ate lunch two hours ago. But we got caught up at a couple of different grocery stores because out here in Puerto Rico, you can't really like, we don't have sprouts, we don't have whole foods. So we have to go to Sam's Club, we have to go to a natural food store. We have to go to sometimes the supermercado, sometimes the farmer's market. We have to go to a lot of places just to get all of these things because there's a couple of, of things in this menu that we've never had before and we had to go searching for but back in the states you shouldn't have a problem finding these things so I'm just going to show you some things that we got we've got sweet potatoes red onion, pears, kiwi, limes, uh, regular potatoes green beans, cucumber, Roma tomatoes, cashews for a cashew soup I'm really excited about trying Corn tortillas. For tomorrow night we're going to have um, rice corn tacos or something like that. It looks really good. Lots of veggies. Lots of veggies we're going to be eating. Cherry tomatoes, walnuts. Um, walnuts are on the meal plan as well as almonds, but almonds out here are like $20, so that's a little expensive. Um, whoop. Himalayan pink sea salt, which is supposed to be really good and not processed like regular salt avocados for healthy fats. I've got some beets in here. Jeremy's not a fan of beets. No. <laughs> so I only got two so that I can try out the recipe and we'll see if he likes it. And if he does, then I'll get some more. Lots of frozen uh, fruit because that's cheaper out here for us. Um, it's okay to get frozen fruit and frozen veggies. When they, when they freeze them, you're still keeping all of the nutrients and it's a much less expensive way to get fruits and veggies if they're not in season. So don't worry about that. So I've got um, pineapple chunks, berries, and some sort of a blend with melons and peaches. And I've got lettuce, hummus, which I was excited is on the meal plan. A couple of seasonings that I didn't already have. Olive oil, pine nuts, pumpkin seeds. Um, we're going to be making these wraps with this, which I've never done before. We'll see how those turn out, if they actually turn into wraps or more like a salad. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. I'm excited to try that recipe. Lime, onion, uh, more onion for miso soup. Lentils, which I've never cooked with before. Uh, we got a little bit of bread, sesame seed, um, frozen corn. Oh, there's some zucchini under here. And we're going to use this for our dressing. There's some recipes for homemade dressings, but um, we really like this and the macros are good, the ingredients are good, it's pretty similar to the ingredients of the ones we would be making anyway, so we went in ahead and did that instead. And then over here I've got some fresh veggies to dip in the hummus. This I'm a little nervous about eating. It's for the miso soup, but we'll see how that goes. Green apples, lots of tempeh. Uh, this is for the miso soup, which I think is the only thing I'm really nervous about. That's for lunch today. We'll see how it goes. Um, we've got sprouts for salads, liquid aminos, beans, coconut milk, pure maple syrup, and some um, organic tea that is caffeine-free because you should not be having caffeine on the Ultimate Reset. Um, and it's important to note that you get caffeine-free, not decaffeinated. There's a difference and some flaked coconut, which I'm excited about that as well. So, um, also some seasonings, which we already had, and some other ingredients that we already had. So, this food should 
be great for the first week. Some of this will even go into the second week. So I will be sharing all about how we do over the next three weeks. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.